do this.
mouth this fraud? Are you built to endure?
reloading. Oh. Cover me. Smasher, I remember you. Promised to kill Silverhand once. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Johnny, he's here with us. Now he can't talk, but I can feel him under my skin. What the fuck are you talking about? In the end, got you. Silverhand triumphs. I'm going to miss that constant bickering. The unending fights. I never knew an ox more stubborn. Would follow family into fire. And in the end did exactly that.
Don't look too strong. I'll make it. before you. Link to it, insert yourself, then search for me on the other side. Come on, lean on me. I can do this. So listen, all I know for sure this alt's bound to stage a coup in my head. Can't know who'll be coming back from this cyber jaunt. So I gotta thank you now. V, shut up and do whatever you have to do. Any parting advice? Just be yourself. Let us go then, you and I, when the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets, the muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels, and sawdust restaurants and oyster shells. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. I did it, Johnny. Despite it all, somehow, I did it. Devised a solid plan and pulled it off. That's you. Well done. I'm sorry. Not sure I quite caught that. Then wash out your ears, dumbass. Is this it? The infamous Prison of Souls? Not how I remember it. 
But Alt wasn't running the show back then. So, where are all of Soul Killer's victims? Fuck if I know. We only see what Alt wants us to see. Did you see anything? Or were you completely cut out? Suppressor slowed me down, but yeah, I saw. A lot of people died just for me to get here. Sorry about Saul. It was my fault Smasher was here in the first place. So, when do we start? Haven't caught on yet, have you? What? What do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Too bad. Johnny could've used someone like you by his side. Strong words from a fellow construct stuck in the same Arasaka prison. Wait, what? You mean to say, I'm an engram? Uh-huh. Same as me. Got any more jokes? Wait, hold on! I want to know what the hell happened to me, exactly! I applied Soul Killer to separating your two psyches, thereby creating V's distinct construct. An added analgesic protocol precluded any perception of pain. I was unable to eliminate all the changes made through the Johnny data incursion and override, but V's engram integrity remains high. Meaning you can transfer his psyche back into his brain? As if onto a blank, virgin partition. Do still plan to obliterate Mikoshi? Mm-hmm. It's gonna burn. What about everyone locked away there? I will free them. Take them with me. Cut the crap. We'll gobble them up like so many morses of code. And make a part of you. As if they could hope for anything better. Come on. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Christ, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. No. No way. That was not our deal. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body! The biochips nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. V and I need to talk. I can't believe it. Everything. All we did. It was pointless. I've had enough of this. Of everything. You most of all. Perfect. Cause we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping the body. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the black wall. To become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. What's it like? Beyond the black wall. Assuming I don't lose my fucking mind. At least no one can ride my ass there. What about hanging around as a construct? Just... Till we find another way. Finding another way would mean making a deal with Sokka. I'll pass. Jesus, be a shapeless shadow in a digital afterlife. I really think I'd rather die. It is freedom from the body's limitations, from the base worries of life in the world. It is a new perspective on all. No. We're left with fading memories. I'm sharing a bed, head splitting hangovers, sea breeze on my face. 
sun's heat on my shoulders. So take no. back your life. The six months you've got left. Didn't think life was worth clinging to. Not at any price, anyway. Cause it ain't. Wrong. That light beyond the black wall. See? That's hope. Could be the flames of hell or heaven's grace. Might also be an engram reading code. But it's a promise of survival. We've learned how to turn into pure data. But an animal still crawls inside us. And its instinct to survive almost can't be extinguished. Yeah. That instinct's part of being human. But so is denying. There's really no other way. As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Guess I meant... I don't know. A happier ending. For everyone involved. Here? For folks like us? Wrong city. Wrong people. He had the right to make a choice you have earned. Through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. Oh. If you were me. What would you do? You should come with me. What's that mean for me, exactly? Am I gonna... become like you? I was a netrunner. I understood how to survive. I cannot speak for you. Beyond the black wall, dangers lurk. It is no sanctuary. But it's better to be a free spirit shredded than to wither, trapped in a dying body. Don't do it, V. You've been running from this all along. It'll change you. You won't be you anymore. And you? Already took that first step a while back. I'll have an easier go of it. I told you. I said I wanted you to have my body. But I can't do it. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. We knew all along this is how it would play out. Don't. Don't fuck with me right now. Only if you cut your pathetic I'm sorry bullshit. About to shred a comrade and a chunk of my own soul in one fucking go. Got no idea what that shit feels like. Hmm. Sounds kind of familiar. We know that attitude. CV, stand with you whether you like it or not. For fuck's sake, defend yourself. You're not even trying. You know, you taught me to let go sometimes. Save my strength for one last big bang.
up in smoke. With damage valued in excess of the annual budget of many a small country. Serves you right, sucker. Hustle field be on your knees. <laughs> Worry not on wash masses. Our wondrous lives at Night City won't change much, but when do they ever? We live midst dust and chrome, and midst dust and chrome is small dust. Now for some good news and some bad news. This dam. Remember it well. Our beginnings. I did not know what to make of you then. And now you do? You'll not get any tearful confessions out of me. It wouldn't be tearful. I know you. What I think of you now matters not at all. Tomorrow we will be elsewhere. We'll start everything anew. You and I. Ask me then. Can't hardly wait. Get ready, Arizona. Here we come. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. They'll never find us. Can promise you that. I know. Perhaps that's why I need a good long look. One day this view will be a happy memory. About to turn on your heel never to see the city again. I think that makes you happy right now. And you? Ready? Do you feel the road beckoning? It's possibly your last glance at those buildings. The quicker I forget the whole damn thing, the better. The city makes false promises. Many of them grand, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. If you see through them before you lose everything, then you're pretty damn lucky. Perhaps luck's with us now. Perhaps we're leaving just in time. Think it is. Think we are. Time to make up for things. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. Gonna figure this out, Pan Am. Fix drug helps a bit now. And once we get to where we're going, we'll try all your contacts. They've pulled some of our folks out of deep, deep cesspits. They'll help. You'll see. Good to hear. It really is. Speaking of which, what about our plan? Everything is set and confirmed. We'll meet our people soon, gather our gear, and set off. Yes, the road could be hard. But as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V... Get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. Well, Night City, good night and good luck.
soaked in the usual gallons of blood, sweat, and tears, of course. This is rough. I've heard enough. <laughs> Most of our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. And our souvenirs from Makoshi? If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Arasaka has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. Arasaka. Deja vu. Did I say something wrong? Just reminded me of Jackie. In the Arasaka job. Think you know how that ended? I'm sorry, V. Come on. You had nothing to do with that. And anyway, things will be different now. Gotta be. There is one thing I will miss about Night City. What's that? The food. The tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. Mm. Seriously? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. Just realized. Already bringing everything I could possibly miss. <laughs> v, you are a sweet talker, aren't you? <laughs> but it works, doesn't it? Say, say it works. It works. All too well. You're with me now. We will figure out and take care of that piece of shit in your head. I know. Running from Night City or going to your granny's for cookies and milk? Gun it or that storm will catch you. Screw you. Bitch, hey. Hey, V. Good to hear you, Jim. How's things? Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? Come on, Mitch. You weren't nearly that confident after Mikoshi. None of us were. He was in bed for weeks, a vegetable. It would have been the end of him if not for his synapses. Toughened. Made almost fry-proof in panzers back in the war. Did save every one of our asses, though. Teddy Saul's not with us. Or Teddy. Or Bobby. Or Scorpion. They would have kicked your ass out of whack after that move with the panzer. Then hugged you until you puked. I know, Pan Am, I know. Give us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. I can smell the ozone, even through the air conditioning. It's that storm getting close. Okay, we've arrived. High time. Hey, Mitch. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? Everything's almost set. So you found it? Where we thought it would be? All plans laid and in place. They are indeed. Come see us when you're done. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. V? Let me be thoroughly honest with you. Okay. You look like shit. Do the great outdoors truly serve you so poorly? Huh. 
can always count on getting complimented when you're around. Seems the great outdoors and fresh air have done you a lot of good, old man. Kept you spry. It's not the air. It's just been one conviction. It lets me fall asleep like a babe come nightfall. I wake up with a clean conscience with the dawn. Got a feeling I'm about to learn it. We nomads choose who to make our family. And choice forges strong bonds and a higher duty that stands solid as an old oak. It doesn't matter what happens, what will happen. Within this family, nobody turns their back on you. You understand? I do. Believe I always did. Now you had better ready yourself. We've got a border to cross and a storm to run from. It's a hell of a lot for one day. I doubted you would come. Why? Thought I'd stay in Night City? You don't seem like one who'd care to make a fresh start. Ever. Get to know me better. Could change your mind. Need any help preparing? No. It's all packed and ready to go. We were waiting for you. That's all. All right. So the plan. One more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. Tunnel? You never mentioned a tunnel. You never asked. It wasn't easy to find after all these years. Thankfully, it's still open. Nothing can stop us now. Look, tunnel's cool and all, but we gotta get there first. And what about security up and down the border? Whole area's brimming with tech. Drones on perpetual patrol. Heavier stuff too, maybe. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. And Carol and Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. And nobody's likely to spot us. Sooner or later, the border guards will realize something's not right. But by the time they get around to it, we'll be far, far away. Plus, that storm's a true stroke of luck. It should cover our tracks. We'll need more than a storm to keep the corpos off our tail. Got bigger concerns than us. And even if they don't, just let them try and catch us. They'll regret it. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there... We call the shots, right? We know the road's like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. <laughs> so even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Looks like I've got a debt of gratitude to pay now. Oh, come the fuck on. We're all riding in the same wagon. And thanks to you, we stole enough Arasaka tech to build an aircraft carrier. Believe me, on the list of those wanted dead or alive, our names are right under yours. Well, time to move, before that storm finds us. Are we all set? Mm-hmm. So jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it.
This is your big new beginning. So you have to start it like a real nomad, behind the proverbial wheel. Mostly go straight, go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest, got it? I will deal with the nitro. That makes we'll go straight to the cylinders. If I don't think it just right manually, it could close to bits. I think that's best avoided. Fuck. I just realized something. What? The border wall. It was a few buttons. I never imagined it would be. But I had this inkling that everything was different. But some bright fucking future awaited me there. Yeah, I think I know what comes next. Once you wound up on the other side and nothing changed, you thought Night City was the answer. Everything would change there. Yes. You know the tale's end, too. I'm returning. Right back to where I started. Fuck. No. I'd be the same place on the other side, same space, but you're different. Totally different. All in all, you're right. And I have you. And the rest of these clowns. Always. Then hit it! Home stretch! Full speed ahead! Great, Pan Am. We're going home.
How's life out there in the desert? Getting some sun? Some fresh air in those lungs? Don't forget to get yourself a checkup every once in a while. Any dust or dirt gets under that insulation, you're done. Of course, decent ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel. So actually, how about you just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I could swing a little discount for an old regular like you. Till next time, V. V, is it true what they say? You rolling around in the dirt with the Aldecaldos? Have you lost your mind, mijo? Didn't you get in enough trouble already, eh? Night City was too boring for you. Estás loco, eh? Crazy, completely crazy. <sighs> Just watch out for yourself, okay? Don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not going to a second funeral. to see some old faces. Don't forget to stop by Mama Wells, okay? Just give me a call before, and I'll make my special chilaquiles just for you. <laughs> Cuídate, V. Hey, V! Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah. I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks. For everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, V, listen, I don't think I'll make it back to camp tonight. Sandstorm's coming our way. No choice but to sit tight and hold it out. Just wanted to say, uh, I know this isn't the first time. You know, that we had plans. Never realized how hard being a chief would be. It always looked so easy from the outside. I'm just... I'm so lucky to have you, V. You can't even begin to imagine how much it means to me. Storm's how... closing in! 30 seconds to blackout! Guess it's time to go. I'll make it up to you. I promise. V. Hey. Christ. That run we did. My heart's still pounding. The pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we've walked through hell and back with you, brother, anytime. Until next time, eh? Take care. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass the message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second... That it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? Hey, Pete, so funny thing just said. Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. What did I even... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, over my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, uh, what else? Well, there's the latest gossip for you. 
if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out! B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. But I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote Jisei, a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late, some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Xero. Hey, V. Jefferson Peral is here. You know, mayor of Night City. I'm calling about our recent program to tackle homelessness. What would you say about being the head of my security detail, huh? As you know, the number of people I can trust are few and far between. Next week we're going to be raising the city's taxes. So, things might get a little hairy. Come by, we'll hammer out a good deal for you. I'm no any pincher when it comes to safety. Alright, well... We'll be in touch, V. Hey, V. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know... I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but... We haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. You know what I drew? The chariot, the lovers, and the sun. <laughs> Looks like you've got a good life ahead of you, out in the Badlands. Good luck, V. Be free. Hey, V. I'm in Dayton. None too big a town, middle of nowhere. Been here about a week. I haven't traded a word of anybody. Guess I got nothing to share. None of those I used to know would answer my call. Might be why I dialed your number. I have no idea why I'm telling you this. Tomorrow, I'll forge on. I saw in there what life was missing. You lit a flame that consumed my head. I'm now Trade it all for your sweet embrace Cause we lost everything We had to pay the price There's a canvas with two faces Of fallen angels of loved and lost it was a passion for the ages But in the end, guess we paid a cost
changed it.